Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jazz. Today is Wednesday, February 15th. It is 4.15 p.m. I have my last client of the day coming at five o'clock, so I have 45 minutes to give myself a facial. I try to give myself a facial once a month. <clears throat> so I'm definitely long overdue. The last time I gave myself a facial was about six weeks ago, right before New Year's. And I'm noticing like I'm definitely breaking out a little bit more now too. Um, I'm gonna use my same products that I do my skincare routine with at night. I use Acne Expert. Um, she has amazing products. If you haven't tried, <clears throat> I would hop on the bandwagon, especially if you have acne because they really cleared my skin up. Like I get so many compliments on my skin now. And it's really a huge thank you to her and these products. Kind of rushing a little bit, but I figured why not. So I'm going to start with my cleanser. I'm using her um, Soothing Gentle Cleanser. She has aloe vera in it. It's super calm and soothing. And it also removes makeup. So like when I wear makeup, I like to take two makeup wipes to my face. And then makeup remover balm. Those work really good for me. Then I go in with this cleanser and I use it twice. So I think I'm going to make this a story time on how I started my business. So this is the only hot towel I'm going to do. The rest of the towels are going to be cold because I'm actually going to be doing a pill on myself. And a pill is just an abrasive exfoliation that takes off dead layers of your skin and allows some new skin to come through. I try to do a pill on myself once a month. But yeah, how did we start the business? How did we get here? A lot of people pretty much know this story because I've talked about it on Instagram before when I've gone live. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, my Instagram name is Beauty Beyond Jazz. I'll make sure to tag it um but how do we start the business so i basically opened up shop here june 16th 2020 which is also my mom's birthday um that's the anniversary date let me get throw this out so i'm gonna just tone my skin real quick and then i'm gonna put the peel on um Yes, so where do we start? Because I definitely opened up a business in the middle of a pandemic. Um, never even expected it, never even thought it was going to go like that. But hey, everything happens for a reason and it's only because of God. That's all I can say. So prior to starting my business, let's go back to 2018. So 2018... Um, June 2018 actually I had just graduated from college I attended Cal State East Bay CSU East Bay California State University of East Bay in Hayward I had got my bachelor's degree in psychology I got a bachelor's of science to be direct and then I thought I was going to go on to get my master's and become like a therapist or something maybe even go get like a doctorate at some point so um, these are my thoughts at the time, right? I'm not doing anything else with my life. Like, <laughs> I just was doing a whole bunch of stuff I didn't have no business doing. And living my life like it's golden. And yeah, so, um, got my degree. I want to say two months after I graduated, my mom ended up passing away. Um... This was August 18th, 2018. Um, keep in mind, my birthday is August 28th, okay? So she ends up passing away like 10 days before my 24th birthday because I was 23 at the time. Um, her death was very unexpected. 
um, nobody seen it coming it was really random um, it was really out of the blue um, a lot of people don't know but my mom she did struggle with alcoholism she was an alcoholic um, pretty much the majority of my life I could say there were times where she would be sober it's 426 so I gotta take this off at 434 ish so there there were times that she would be sober but like I remember growing up and she would be going to um, AA rehab programs I would go visit her she would sometimes stay in sometimes she would do the outpatients it really would just depend this is burning um yeah so you know she had her addiction issues but I will say that like the last two and a half years of her being alive she was sober she had about hold on I need to get the fan she had about well, let me get the electric fan hold on that's no, not working okay that feels so much better she had about two and a half years sober her last two years of life and so I was really proud of her like she used to count her days like oh I got this many days and it was great and uh, we got along really well my mom was really like my best friend um, I don't really have a lot of friends like if you know me you know I'm very to myself I'm very closed off I'm very private very in a shell so um I really admire me and my mom's relationship we had an amazing relationship it was a Saturday morning I was sleep knocked out everybody know do not call me in the morning I'm not a morning person my grandma called me this is my mom's mom keep in mind my mom was my grandma's only child and then i was my mom's only child so it was literally me my mom and my grandma just us three grandma calls me at like nine in the morning on saturday august 18th 2018 and she's like it's about your mom i'm like okay she's like she passed this morning i'm like all right let me call my dad and I'm just like super calm, cool, collected at this point. So I called my dad. I told him what happened. He fell out. He couldn't even believe it. He was just in total shock. So we're running around. We going to the police station. We're trying to figure out what happened. Where is she at? Can we see her? Like we need to see her body. They're not letting us see her. It's a Saturday. So everything's pretty much closed. The police station's closed. The coroner's office is closed. So they're like, well, we've already identified her by her fingerprints. So you don't really need to come identify the body. I'm like, okay, this is hella weird, whatever. We go to the police station and we trying to figure out like what happened. They're like, well, this man came down. Um, he brought her to the hospital. Um, he said that she brought drugs to his house and said, let's party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just made up this whole like crazy story. And we're just like, what? That don't even sound like her. Like, she don't even do drugs. Like, yes, yeah, she had a drinking problem, but she don't even drink no more. Like, she been sober for two and a half years. Let me get a towel. We're like, this is not making any sense at all whatsoever. So they're basically coming up with this story about this man that did this, that, and the third. He's talking about he's been her boyfriend for the last eight years mind you I know this man and this is not her boyfriend as a matter of fact my mom actually couldn't stand him so um definitely not her boyfriend he did like her and I do feel like he was fatally attracted to her but I always told her like he was nothing but trouble like I did not like him at all so I'm just pissed at this point and I'm just like dude this man just sat up here and damn near drugged my mom and tried to go drop her off at the hospital and mind you she started like overdosing at his house I'm pissed I'm like yeah he tried to drop her off at the hospital and give them some BS excuse why you didn't call 911 because you was afraid that they would have came and searched your house because at this point now it could be it could potentially be a homicide because she died in your house so whatever so he drops her off gives a BS story it takes them two months to get us an autopsy actually three because we didn't get our autopsy till november this was in august um the funeral was like one day after my birthday so she died on the 18th we had her birthday i mean we had her funeral on august 29th my birthday was the 28th he did not show up to the funeral of course so that was just a hot mess so then from there like you gotta imagine like i'm 20 i just turned 24 years old my mom just died my mom was my best friend like i wasn't using my college degree because obviously i'm depressed af like it's crazy because I was so depressed I didn't even know I was depressed like it was ridiculous so long story short I ended up going through a depression for about let me go throw this towel out I'm gonna say I was depressed for about a year 
but my sister basically came to me and she was like you know I, I told her how I was super depressed and I just didn't know what I wanted to do with my life like I didn't know which direction I wanted to go in and she was like well you already do makeup because I used to work at MAC Cosmetics for like a long time this is a rose mask from SD Max, by the way. She basically was like, well, you already do makeup. Why don't you just go to esthetician school and learn how to do everything like the facials, the wax and all of that? I was like, you know what? That's actually not a bad idea. So I go to the orientation. Mind you, when I was working at MAC doing makeup, that was just like a little part time thing. Like I never thought, oh, this is going to be my career. Like I always knew I was going to school to get a degree and I just knew I was going to be doing my degree as my career. Like, I didn't think I could really make a living off of the beauty industry. So I go to the esthetician school. I went to um, Paris Beauty College in Concord. And I just went to go to a little orientation and peep the scene and see if I liked it and seeing if it was something that I could see myself doing. And I immediately fell in love. Like, the teachers was cool, the students, like, everything. Everything about it, I was just super excited. Like, I remember starting, I started in October 2019. And I was just so happy. I was like, oh my God, I can see myself doing this. Like what? So started school and immediately fell out of my depression that I was in because it was real bad. Like if you know me and how I was growing up, like my whole light had just shut off. Like my whole light was dimmed. Okay, we're going to leave this on for 10 minutes. Take it off at like 4.45. So went to school, fell in love like fell out of the depression I had finally felt like oh this is something that I like love doing so I was able to like invest all my energy into that and so when I was in school it was funny I only went for six months because I was part-time and I was just getting my esthetician license I was a achiever like I was an overachiever at school like and I'm pretty sure my classmates was like thinking like why is Jazz putting so much into this like what is this all about but I really was like fighting a depression and so that's how I got my light back. Like I remember I started selling lashes, like lash strips. I sell 3D mink lashes. Let me actually show y'all while I got this mask sitting on my face. This is one of my lash books. It's inspired by Mean Girls Burn Book. It's the lash book. On Wednesday, we wear mink because they're 3D mink lashes. I have Gretchen, Katie, Karen, and Regina. So most natural to most dramatic it's literally every type of lash you could think of from short and fluffy to wispy to full volume dramatic all the stuff so yeah these are my lashes that i sell you could purchase them on my website i'll link the website in the description but um this all started at esthetician school i literally was like let me find a lash vendor like it's so many girls here like it was girls that was in cosmo school it was girls that was in esthetician school there were nail techs like girls everywhere so I I was real cool with the front desk girl her name was Monique shout out to Monique I told Monique okay I'm selling lashes now and so I had like an array of lashes for everybody to choose from so she told all her Cosmo girls next thing you know everybody at the school is looking for me everybody's looking for jazz so they could purchase some lashes so I was selling lashes I was running it up off all the girls at the school selling some 3d mink lashes um so that's how this even started which is so funny but yeah, next thing you know, everybody's looking at me for lashes. So like, I just was like overachieving. Like, like I loved doing facials when I was in school. Like I had all of the clients because we would have, we would take clients. Like they would come up to the beauty college and get their treatments done. I was booked and busy at school. Like I literally was doing a facial every day I was in school. Tuesday through Saturday, I had appointments lined up for facials. Like I was recording myself doing the facials on my Instagram while I was in school. I was posting it like I was creating and building a profile and a resume for myself all while I was in institution school. So that was super exciting. Um, then fast forward six months later, it's now March 17th, 2020. I remember like it was yesterday because it was my sister's birthday. I'm in the mall in Nordstrom, San Francisco with her. My school is calling me, okay? I'm supposed to be graduating this week. They're calling me. They're like, hey, um, apparently COVID just took over and everything's about to shut down. So if you want, you can come in and take your exit exam now so we can go ahead and pass you and send your stuff to state board because there's no telling how long it's going to take because everything's getting ready to shut down. The whole world's about to shut down. And I'm like, what? I'm all in San Francisco. I can't come take this test. So I was like, dang, can I come tomorrow? They're like, we'll see. I don't know. Everything's going to shut down. 
So immediately after that, they announced on the news that everything was shutting down. So literally everything shut down. So at that moment, I had went to school all this time, built up all this like stamina. And before I knew it, the world had shut down. I didn't even get to like graduate and I didn't even get to go get my license yet. I was like, wow, wow. The day I'm supposed to graduate, COVID hits. So at this point, I'm just like, dang, like, what am I gonna do? Like, everything shut down. Mind you, I had planned on graduating and literally just, I was gonna go work at like a European wax center and just gain up some clientele. I was like, let me just go work at European, gain up some clientele. Once I get up enough clientele, I could just go run off and do my own thing at a suite. Nope, God had other plans. So now we're in summer 2020. I'm like, dang, I need to make some money. Like everything is shut down. What the heck? I can't even go work nowhere. So I told my dad, like, look, I'm about to start taking wax clients out of your house. Like it is what it is. You have the space. You have an extra room. I'm about to start taking clients. So um, I had a couple clients come through. But, you know, when you're at the house, it's just a different vibe. Like it's not professional at all. And he had a lot going on that year he used to have a lot of company coming over kids running around like it was just real ghetto so i was just like i don't know if this is gonna work then he ended up putting a treadmill in the room that i was working out of like why would you put a treadmill in this room like are you trying to kick me out of here without kicking me out like what's going on i don't even know so he was like you know what i think you need to go get a suite i'm like well i don't even have no clients yet like why would i go get a suite why would i go pay somewhere and I don't even have clients. I'm not even making any money yet to be going to pay a rent somewhere. And he was like, you know what? God is going to bring them to you. And I'm like, hmm. That might not be a bad idea because God might bring me these clients. I don't know. We're going to see. So I get on LoopNet. I start looking up um, suites and stuff that I can rent out. And so I found this place that I'm in now. I asked the guy if I could come see it. He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. So I end up going to go see it. Everything about it felt right. It was like in a corner, isolated. It was just me. Um, I don't have any neighbors. He was cool. He was like, well, you know, it is COVID. So if you want, we can just start off on like a month to month lease. And then you can just go from there. You don't even have to sign no type of contract. You could just see how it works for you. And if you like it, you can stay. If not, you can go. I understand. I'm like, oh, this is smooth. And like me, I'm the type, I gotta go peep the scene before I do anything. And if the vibe is right, I'm there. And if anything is off, I'm, I ain't feeling it. It's, it's off so everything was right so I was like you know what sure let's do it so I'll say it probably took me about between three and five thousand dollars to start like I ended up getting this card reader machine I bought decorations to decorate I got my business license my seller's permit I got some tools like I got a steamer I got a bed a hot towel cabinet a wax pot pretty much just the basics I just got everything I need to start it took no more than five thousand dollars to start up the business okay we decorated up everything, got it all together, and then um, I did a little photo shoot in my suite. After I decorated it, I had put on a cute little outfit. Let me go to it on my Instagram. Let me read it to y'all, actually. This is on my Beauty Beyond Jazz business page. The very first post. So this is the post. It's like a reveal of the suite. This is what my suite looked like when I first got it. It had carpet in it, and the walls was like a yellow-brown, ugly color. And I was just so excited. So I had decorated it all pink and girly and stuff. But um, these are some pictures of what it looked like. Fast me, a cute little mini dress on being hella fast. But I didn't care. I was a new business owner. <laughs> so I took some cute pictures in my suite. And then I had just said, it was my mom's birthday. So I said, happy birthday, mama. This one's for you. Thank you for watching over me and guiding me. Today is a very special day for me. I started a journey on October 8th, 2019. This path led me out of depression and allowed me to see my light again. Here I am, June 16th, 2020, ready to share with the world my gifts, my passions, and what I was put on this earth to do. Welcome to Beauty and Beyond. At my suite, I offer waxing, facials, and makeup services. So this was June 16th, 2020. Okay, like I had did that. Opened up. And when I tell y'all about a month later, I was fully booked. A month later, I was fully booked. Okay, God really brought them clients. Now, granted, it was COVID. Everything else was shut down. So people really didn't have a choice but to come to me because I was the only one open. But... When everything did finally open back up, they still stuck with me. So, like, it doesn't even matter. Like, it counts. <laughs> Listen, a win is a win. They still came to me. Like, even after all the big businesses opened back up, 
a cold towel to wipe off this mask they still came to me so yeah it was legit um and i just been in business ever since like now i have about 60 clients that come see me every month consistently faithfully um i do vajayshals i do waxing i do um, makeup i do wedding makeup i do photo shoot makeup i do facials like i do it all i do hydrofacials dermaplaning like you name it so um just i'm just thankful and blessed when i tell y'all i really truly am because like god really came through for me god looked out for me and i kind of look at it as like my mom is watching over me because I remember like when I was growing up, she used to always tell me I was gonna be successful. She used to be like, you know what, you gonna be something. I already know. She was like, you gonna be something and you gonna take care of me. Cause my mom, she was a stay at home wife. Like she didn't really have no drive. She just depended on my dad and he paid all the bills and took care of her. And so we used to be riding around in all these nice cars and living life like it was golden. But you know, deep down inside, she really was miserable. Like she just wasn't happy in that marriage and they finally filed for divorce and everything kind of fell apart and that lavish lifestyle was gone just as quick as it got there just as quick as it came it was gone and so I always looked at that when I was a little girl growing up and I used to just tell myself like I gotta be successful I gotta get it on my own because I don't want to be depending on a man and then he just wake up one day and it just don't be the same and now I gotta fend for myself and I don't have nothing to fall back on like my mom didn't have no college degree you know like she didn't have anything to fall back on so like when she left my dad he was the breadwinner and she was going on welfare like you know like she had nothing so I just always told myself like just make sure you got your own because you just never know and y'all know these niggas is crazy y'all know these men be tripping <laughs> and it sucks because I feel like I'm totally acting out of trauma and that's like my independent like like I don't feel like I don't need a man but I also know that like I'm gonna get it on my own just in case just in case I don't make it home tonight okay like just in case for whatever reason a man wakes up and decides he don't want to be with me no more or just whatever like I just want to be able to have my own that's basically how I started my business it really was the grace of God um, it's funny because I've been reading my Bible a lot lately and I'm seeing like God had his chosen ones like in the Bible God had his people that he looked after and that he favored and he favored them he favored their offsprings and so on and so forth and I don't know like I might just be the chosen one I don't know that I don't know but like my dad he's very successful in everything that he does and God has blessed him tremendously in his life and same for my grandma on my mom's side like super blessed like got it together let me get out eye cream and so yeah like i might just be the chosen one y'all i don't know but that's how i started my business um it was just it was just a blessing it was a blessing so started it in the middle of the pandemic we still going strong it'll be three years this june June 16th, 2023 will make three years that I have successfully been in business nonstop. Um, I'm using the Max Eye Cream by Image Skincare. And this is just a firming, tightening, hydrating eye cream that helps with like dark spots, wrinkles, and everything. So I'm just putting this on. My client will be here in eight minutes. So we really finished that facial. After my client leaves, I'm definitely going to put the LED light on me for about 10 to 15 minutes. But yeah, like that's how I started my business. Um, it's not easy. I feel like a lot of people look at it and they just think like it's just fun and I just got it made and I work for myself. And I ain't gonna lie, it is fun. I do have it made. I do work for myself, but it's a lot keeping up with the business like i can't wait to just kind of start getting into like inventory i'm gonna be showing you guys like when i order stuff how i order it and things like that because like yes i am making good money and it's all coming in my pocket but guess what i still have a rent here to pay i still have other things that need to be purchased to even be able to even service the clients you know like it's more to it than just oh i'm keeping all the money and i'm making hand over fist like i'm making good money but i'm also spending a lot of money to keep up with the business so um over the course of me vlogging i'm gonna be just kind of sharing how i keep up with my business and 
what I do and what works for me and things like that so you guys will get to kind of see more into it especially if you're thinking about becoming a solo esthetician you're gonna love my channel because I started off as a solo esthetician and I pretty much know the ropes of how to be a solo esthetician successfully um, eventually I do want to hire people but you have to trust the people that you hire and I don't know I don't know like I do want to expand I do eventually want to have like a storefront where I can just hire other people to work and you know teach them some stuff but it's gonna come with time like I'm not in any rush I'm all on God's timing like whenever he's ready for me to do that that's what it'll be and you know that might not even be the path he has for me he might have something else in store that I didn't even think anything of so so I just put a serum on now I'm about to put my second serum this is that acne expert line this is the daily c serum it's really just like a really a really good antioxidant um vitamin c serum so it helps to like even out the skin tone and i just do like a few drops of this spread that all around and then i'm gonna put a brightening cream serum so that's three serums i'm gonna do some moisturizer and then i'm gonna put my sunscreen on so my face is gonna be glistening but i don't have to wash it tonight I'm gonna start back washing in the morning um go from there but yeah like I definitely feel like my mom is watching over me and blessing me and guiding me and showing me the way and I just pray that everything works out for me in the future um quick update on the man that basically dropped my mom off at the hospital so I was like trying to find him for a long time because I was like I want to ask him what happened that night like I want to just hear it from him and like I would call him call the numbers that I have for him and nobody would ever answer and then the one time somebody did answer they gave me a bullshit excuse talking about oh he went to Vegas and he left his phone here we can't get in contact with him what did you say your name was like all of that so one day I looked this was Mother's Day 2021 I was with my cousin at dinner who was one of my mom's favorite cousins and we were sitting down looking on Facebook and I was like let me look this man up and see if I can get in contact with him one more time because I kind of just wanted the closure you know this is just a moisturizer I just put the um, brightening cream now I'm doing a moisturizer and then I'm gonna do the sunscreen and then I'm done but um, I just wanted the closure so I'm like let me look him up again so why I went to go look the man up and tell me why I seen his tombstone one of his family members had posted his tombstone and he ended up dying like two years after my mom died right around her same anniversary death date like my mom died on August 28th I mean on August 18th he damn near died on like August 20th girl he damn near died on like August 20th so that was just hella crazy to me and I think at that moment I looked at that as my closure from the situation because I'm just like okay like clearly whatever he did to my mom that night God took care of it and I thought about plenty of times like hiring somebody to go off him but I was just like you know what let me just let God handle this situation I don't want to put it in my own hands and when I seen his tombstone I knew right then and there that God took care of it and I didn't even have to worry about it no more I was just like at peace after that okay I think I got all the stuff off so yeah skin is glowing <sighs> the only thing I'm gonna do like I told y'all after my client leave is put my little eye goggles on and do the blue led light because it's the the blue led light is supposed to kill all the bacteria that's lingering that causes acne and stuff so I'm gonna do that but facial is complete I did that in like 45 minutes I hear my client at the door so um we're gonna get ready to wrap it up and basically i guess the moral of this story is if you're thinking about doing something that's on your heart like if you think you want to start a business or if you're passionate about something go for it because god is not going to let you fail and if it fails he has something else in store for you there's something else that you're going to be doing or that you could be doing that is going to work for you so yes if you're like me and you're wondering how i was if you should start your business this is your sign absolutely positively 
go for it. And with that being said, I'm going to take my last client of the day and then I'm just going to uh, put my blue LED light on. And yeah, that's my story time. So that's how I started my business. And thank you, beauties. Makes me wonder who you think play with. I'm just a myself to keep.